Matt Cohen at AL.com. I guess the I can the story around this team so much has been kind of you guys score so much, but kind of the defense has lacked behind it. So I guess what what about this team do you think can kind of buck the trend of teams that have had good defenses and won national championships that you guys can maybe score enough that maybe defense falling behind and you guys can still win despite that, if that makes sense? Uh, we're not going to win just like that. Uh, we have to play defense. So, uh, you know, everybody knows our defensive ranking and stuff, but that doesn't really matter right now. It's just we could be a top top 20 defense in this tournament and then win the whole tournament. So all that other stuff is just in the past, and we just look forward to the future. And uh, I think we have a, a team that's capable of playing great defense um, in the future, like like uh, starting now. So um, we just got to be consistent with it. Richard, over to the Arizona Republic. You, both you guys can answer this, but I just wonder if you guys had a chance to watch Grand Canyon play last night and what you took away from that and their kind of athleticism and being able to disrupt the offense with their ability to, to block shots and that kind of thing. Jaron, let's start with you. Um, I watched a little bit of Grand Canyon play. Um, they're great. At, they're very athletic. Again, going in and for offensive rebounds, getting in, getting steals, getting blocks. Um, we got to be careful with that. Um, I feel like we got the team to you know spread the ball, um, spread them out, and um, make plays. Rylan? Uh, yeah, Grand Canyon, like he said, Grand Canyon, they're like, uh, you know, they're in a, a mid-major conference, but they're really like a pretty much a high-major team. Um, they got a bunch of high-major players who have played at the high-major level and just played at a bunch of different other schools and different systems. So they're really experienced, really athletic, uh, really big, really strong. Uh, they all got playmakers, so it's going to be a really, really tough game. And um, they went out against a good, a great St. Mary's team that deserved to be in the position that they were in and beat them. So uh, just you got to come out ready to go. Follow up on a uh, on my earlier question. I guess kind of what do you guys like? What can you do to kind of be more consistent defensively? You had like I guess yesterday kind of allowing thirty four points in the first half and sixty two I think in the second. What? How do you maintain that for a full forty minutes? We just gotta uh, focus and pay attention. Stay locked into the scouting report. Stay locked into the game plan and uh, just cover each other. Be there for each other. Help each other. Make it hard on the other team and just be a uh, great like IQ defenders and not selfish defenders. So uh, just making sure we do that consistently. And we did it great in the first half. And I think we also did it great in the second half until the end. So um, yeah, it was like, you know, like midway through the second half, they had only made two threes. So I think we guarded pretty well in the second half till the end, but we got to make sure we do it full 40, not 24, not 30, not 25, just full 40. Uh, Richard Silva from the Montgomery Advertiser. Ryland, I think we saw yesterday that Grand Canyon had a pretty impressive fan turnout. If that is the same way tomorrow, how do you think you guys have handled that this year, um, kind of hostile environments, and how do you think you'll handle it tomorrow? Yeah, we've been to like Tennessee, we've been to Auburn, we've been to Kentucky, we've been to all these places. So it's not nothing that we're not gonna have seen before. We just gotta be able. In those games that I mentioned, we also we actually let the crowd like get in our heads. So we just gotta make sure we come in and be like, hey, they, if they have a big crowd, um, it's nothing that we haven't seen before. The game is gonna be played on the court, not in the stands. So um, just if they have a big crowd, we gotta make sure we just tune it all out and make sure we get the win because that's what we came. That's where the game is going to be played on the court. So uh, we, can, we can control whether we win or not, not the fans. Of course, the fans are a big boost always. But at the end of the day, the game is played on the court. So yeah, they can they, they can bring as many people as they want. It, it, it really did. We brought as many people as we wanted. Like we played Tennessee at our home floor, had a big crowd, and still lost because the game is still played on the court. So. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Tim Booth from the AP. Uh, for both of you guys, uh, so much, I should say so much, but a lot of college basketball these days is kind of slow and played in the half court, and you guys don't play that way. I guess maybe specifically, what do you guys like each about the style you guys play and the way you guys play? Jaron, let's start with you. 
I just feel like the fast-paced offense that we run is a lot more efficient. That's why we have like the top offense in uh, college basketball. Um, just running, getting out. Um, that's the most yeah efficient baskets, getting layups or just open threes and transition. Uh, that's that's a high percentage shot. So just playing fast pace, it really fits our style. It gets our guys open, and it really helps us. Right. Yeah, it's just like it's hard to guard. Like it's easy to go against. It's easy to guard when you're set on defense and everybody knows the rotations. So we just the, the the point of attack is just make sure we go before the defense gets set. Um, and you know, because I think we're a great team on defense when we get set too. It's just you know some a lot of teams be beating us in transition on offensive rebounds, stuff like that. So I think that way playing fast just make sure you get you get more offensive possessions as well. So. You got a chance to score more points. You're not. It doesn't feel like you have to score every time down the floor because you're gonna burn 30 seconds of the clock and get one shot up. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's just, like he said, just an efficient way of playing basketball. Let's go to Zoom uh, real quick and Sutton, or rather uh, Jack Knowlton. No, Sutton Smith has a question. Sutton. Can you guys hear me? I'm sorry. Yep, we're good now. Yeah, Sutton Smith from WV, WVA 23 here in Tuscaloosa. Ryland, I've got a question for you. Um, as part of the of the backcourt at, at Alabama, one of the best backcourts in the nation, um, what do you, what have you guys worked on all year that has made you all so efficient? Um, we just share the ball, make shots, get to the paint. Like we pretty much all our guards, pretty much everybody on the team can pass, dribble, and shoot. So. When you got five people out there that can do that, it's kind of hard to guard. But as far as the backcourt, we just push each other every day. Like, it'd be me against Aaron sometimes, Mark against Trelly, me against Mark, Mark against Trelly. Like, you just mix it up, throw it, throw them together. And, you know, we just make each other better. Like, iron sharpens iron. So um, just practicing against them dudes every single day made me better uh, for sure. And I think it's made all of us better. Let's go back to Zoom for Jack Knowlton. Jack. Hey, can you guys hear me? We're good. Cool, cool. Um, for, for both of y'all, you know, Nate's kind of talked about recently how you guys, you know, kind of really enjoy playing with each other and, and that's kind of helped when y'all have gone through some adversity. Uh, you know, what have you guys told each other in those in those moments of, of kind of hardship and, and how have y'all kind of bonded over the, the course of the season, even going back to the summer? Jaron? I think, I think the big thing is mudita. That's a, a big word that we try to strive for and follow is a vicarious joy for each other and each other's success. Um, I feel like we just try to follow that and um, just push each other, um, make sure that you know, we're there for each other and each other's help. Or like if somebody makes a mistake, we're there for them, we cheer them on. Um, and you're just, just being there for each other. Ron? Yeah, just same thing. Like, I love playing with this team, like, even after a loss, like, I still love these dudes. It's not like, you know, I'm upset or with anybody or anything. Like, we just, it's just stuff we got to do to get better. But, like, I love coming to practice the next day, seeing all these dudes. I love going to war with these dudes. So, you know, it makes it more, more fun and it makes you want to compete a little bit harder because now it's when to go home and I don't want to, I don't want this team to, go through anything like where our season is ending on a bad note. So just got to it makes me go harder just for my brothers. And uh, I think everybody has that same type of attitude.